Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to, to come along today. Um, that's, that's great. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll explain a little bit about France Mission to you in, in just a moment, but just before that, um, I'd like to ask you a few questions to see what you know about France. So, um, have we got the PowerPoint up? Is that... Thank you. Um, so my first question is just a very simple one. Who enjoys French food or drink? How many? Oh, right, nearly all of you. Everybody loves a croissant, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, who's been to France? Who's actually been to France? A lot of people, yes, I mean, it's just over the water, isn't it? So it's ever so easy to get to France. So it's a very easy trip to make, our closest continental neighbour. And the last question is who can actually speak some French? <laughs> oh, quite a lot. Some of you are probably still doing it at, at school. Some of you perhaps have done it at school. I'm not going to give you very much French this morning, but here's a little bit of French for you. Oh, click that way. Un petit quiz. <laughs> Even if you've got no French, I'm guessing you know probably what that means. Okay, so this is just uh, one of those kind of multi-choice questions. Um, see if you can get the right one. So which country is bigger, would you say? Is it France or the UK? France. France, it is. It's more than twice the size of the UK. It's a big old place, is France. Uh, in terms of the number of people, how many people do you think there are? Or how, which country do you think has more people, France or the UK? Okay. UK. <coughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, it's actually France, but, but only just. They're really, really similar. So, you know, twice the size, the same number of people. No wonder our roads seem congested in comparison, right? Um, does France have a state religion, do you think? No, you're absolutely right. It, it doesn't. It's been a secular republic since 1905, so no official religion at all in France. Okay, France has 36,000 towns and villages. What percentage of those towns and villages would you say do not have an evangelical church like, uh, like this one? You think it's 25%, uh, 50% or over 90? Over 90. Okay, you're pessimistic about, <laughs> about the state of evangelicalism in France. You're right. It's over 90%. Um, I don't know how far you have to come to church today. Uh, I, it took me 12 minutes, I reckon, to drive here from where I live. Uh, and it would take me less than that to get to Belmont on my bike. Uh, it's really easy to get to church. In France, you might have to drive an hour plus in order to get to a church that you'd feel comfortable worshipping in. Um, okay, how often do you think an evangelical church is planted in France? Do you reckon that's once a year, once a month, or once every 10 days? What do you reckon? It's a year. Mm, okay. It's actually once every 10 days. Yeah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is good, isn't it? That's really encouraging to know that the Lord is at work and that somewhere in France, every 10 days, a new church is being opened and we give thanks for that. Because of that, the church is growing. Um, wouldn't we love to see growth like this in the UK church? I mean, that is, that is great growth that God is giving to the evangelical church in France. We often think of modern contemporary Europe as being a secular place where the church is at best stagnant, but actually in some parts of Europe the church is growing and growing quite strongly. France is one of those places and we, we thank and we praise the Lord for that as well. But you know what? It's still only just over 1% of the population, which is tiny, isn't it? Tiny amount of people. The French church is, is working collectively to try and do something about that. So they have this vision in France, um, and it's a vision that comes from an equivalent of the Evangelical Alliance in France called the CNEF. And their vision is une pour dix mille. Une église, one church, pour dix mille personnes, for 10,000 people. That's their goal. So that's why they're planting as many churches uh, as they realistically can. It's a great vision but it means that there are still over 4,000 left to plant. And 10, one every 10 days sounds great, doesn't it? Quickly do the maths. If it's one every 10 days, that means it's about 35 a year, 4,000 left to plant. That's over 100 years of work of church planting at the current rate. 
But we serve a big God, right? And so we, we believe that this is something that God has put on the heart of the French church. So in France Mission, what do we do? Well, we want to support this work. We're not a sending agency as such. We want to be there to support the French church in their own vision. So we do that through praying for France. We've got lots of prayer materials. We do it by giving financially to support people and projects in France. And we do it by connecting British Christians uh, who may never have thought about France as being a mission field, but perhaps you go on holiday there and you might like to see, could I visit a church while I'm over there to go and worship with them on a Sunday? Uh, maybe you go there sometimes on business. Maybe you have people that you know who actually have a home in France and you can think about their mission field where they live. Or maybe as a church you'd be interested in connecting with a church in France to see how you might partner together. There are all kinds of ways that we can help in France mission with that. Um, but that's enough from me for the moment. I've brought some things with me that I've left on the, on the table at the back alongside those life words that you've got both in English and in French, which I think Sally kindly supplied. Um, please just take anything that's on there. Uh, there's a general leaflet about France Mission, about why we do uh, what we do. Uh, it's for you to take away if you'd like to. And a very common question I'm asked is, Paul, why France? Why France of all places? Well, we've got a booklet that talks exactly about that as well. So please, afterwards, help yourself uh, or just come and talk to me about it. I love talking about France and France Mission. Thank you.